2020 I was suffering because like everybody else, hindi natin alam kung anong susunod na mangyayari. So, uh, anong, ano ba, anong month ba nagtapos kami magpalabas? Uh, so, like March, April? I don't know, mga, mga ganun eh, March, no? Takot. I mean, it was very uncertain. Uh, takot uh, dahil, ah, hindi pala, John. Nung umpisa, meron, meron pa akong pakiramdam na, ah, hindi ko tatagal to. Uh, kaya to, siguro by the end of the year, by the end of the year, baka wala na. Yeah. Yun, 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 yun ang feeling ko. Yun ang feeling ko. Pero habang tumatagal, tapos July came, nagsara ng ABS-CBN, mm-hmm. mas lalong tumubli na yung takot, mm-hmm. na parang ang uncertainty was not just about life, but also a lot of people close to us were dying. Yes. Parang hindi na yata ang biro ito. So, uh, ando na yung paranoia. Ako, talagang paranoia. Hindi naman clinical paranoia. But paranoia na, what's gonna happen to me? What's gonna happen to my family? Una yung naging, uh, naging concern ko yung kalusugan. So, tago ako ng tago. Kadalasan nasa, I went to Saman. I went to my rest house at Tagaytay. Finally pa. I was spending a lot of time doon sa mga lugar na wala masyadong tao. Hirap na hirap na hirap. Pero, um, mabait ang Diyos. Natuto ako mag-digital. Uh, I, I, I went to Facebook, I went to YouTube, and then a couple months ago, I tried TikTok. Uh, because I wanted to do my interviews. I didn't realize that uh, I would be, sabi ko nga noon, June, Magkaroon lang ako ng 5-10,000 subscribers sa YouTube, okay na ako. Mm-hmm. Wag lang uh, tatanggalin sa akin yung uh, gusto kong makapag-interview, gusto kong maki, uh, magkaroon ng pagkakataong uh, gawin yung ginagawa ko sa television. Pero, noong COVID, how was my life? I became very busy. Kasi, uh, di ba, maraming conferences na uh, digital na Zoom. Siguro, uh, but, you know, uh, yun na lang sa tatong character. Sabi ko nga, kung merong isang daan na uh, convention, halimbawa ng mga pharmaceuticals, I probably hosted 90 of them. Alam niyo yung ganun? Oo, hindi man, hindi man ganun pagkakataon. Financially, it was not as much as uh, we would be paid doing live television, for example, and live gigs. Pero, Binuhay ako ng Panginoon. I was very, very busy during COVID. So I was doing, I was teaching, nagtuturo ako online. Uh, I was hosting conventions, uh, Philippine Medical Association, Philippine Heart Association, ang dami. I was hosting awards uh, virtually. I hosted TOFA, the Outstanding Filipinos in America, twice uh, digitally. So, uh, yun ang naging buhay, nag-adjust din. Pero, nadaan sa dasal. Hindi ko alam kung paano. Mahirap, pero talaga kung meron tayo lahat yan eh. Uh, you will survive. Yes. Ganon tayo yata. Pero, nahirapan. Pero, kinaya. Kinaya. Lumaman. Yes. Sige. Malapang ka pa sa bago mong network? Wala pang, uh, wala pang confirmation. Okay. Uh, hindi ko itatakwa na may mga pag-uusap sa iba't ibang mga uh, istasyon, sa iba't ibang mga tao. Pero wala pa. I have not signed the contract. I am in uh, a conversation with uh, various groups. But that will be for another press conference. Hindi biro yun. That will be for another oh, press conference. Of course. Oh. Hintayin namin yung press ko na yun. Siyempre. Diba? At saka, oh, hindi ko naman i-deny. Hindi ko naman uh, i-deny. Right. Na, Siyempre, you miss it, di ba? Sobra. I, I want to be able to do television again. So it's the prepare na TV digital. Are you happy? Is that yes, fast talk? Uh, ah, television. Television na rin. Oh, ako'y bumibisita lamang sa digital platforms. Ah. Hindi pa ako masyado. Hindi. I don't know how to upload. Ah. Uh, nag-i-interview lang ako. I have an admin. Mm. Hindi pa talaga. I edit like television. Sabi ko nga sa kina MJ, three camp set up ako mag-interview mm. for YouTube. It, it's really just Ayaw ko lang mawala yung kinasanayan ko ang trabaho. Okay. Sige. See you soon. <laughs> Congratulations, of course. Maraming salamat. Uh, send wave. 